Hi, I'm Mark Mancini, and I'm back with part two of the Wind Sentry Sound and Smoke Detector. So welcome back. This is part two this week of the Wind Sentry Smoke and Sound Detector. And we're gonna go over a little bit more of the detail, the operation of this, and the importance of it. Now, again, with Airbnb or VRBO, if a guest smokes in your unit, you can smell it, but you can't take a picture of it. So how do you prove a guest smoked in your home to Airbnb or VRBO to either, uh, with VRBO, get some money off the deposit, or with Airbnb, go to the resolution center and, and air cover and get some reimbursement? So having the app on your phone with the alert that says smoke has been detected is gonna be in your favor. So having something that is a, um, sub, uh, it's not a subjective like your smell, it's objective, okay? So it's a, it's a separate device that will tell you if someone smoked, will also help validate your claim with air cover. And if you do charge their, their credit card with a deposit, whether it's through VRBO or if you're API integrated, you have a deposit through Airbnb or VRBO, then if they decide to do a chargeback, you can go ahead and dispute that chargeback by saying, we've got proof this device found them smoking in the home, plus it smelled like smoke, okay? So you're not using just your subjective, but using objective proof so that you have the proof you need to get reimbursed for what they did inside your home. Now let's talk more about the Wind Sentry unit. Um, the unit is USB powered. It has a battery backup for up to two days. Now let's talk about the smoking feature because this is probably the most important portion. Hopefully many of you are using cameras at your front door. So you don't have to worry about the sound from a party because, because basically you know the camera is going off constantly because people are knocking at the door or coming into the home and your ring or your Eufy or whatever one you're using keeps going off, okay? And occasionally you look at that video and see the traffic of people coming in. That's when you need to take action, not after the party, but before it even escalates. Now, smoking is something happens often without a party, okay? Someone decides to smoke, whether it's a marijuana, cigar, cigarette, or vaping. Now, wind will do vaping, It'll do uh, marijuana, it'll do cigar and cigarette, okay? Um, if someone smokes outside and has it on their clothes and comes into the house, this is not supposed to pick it up, okay? So this is only for smoking inside the home and not any secondhand smoke, okay? Now, the unit uh, uses some technology in here and you don't wanna have this, um, uh, too high up or too low. They suggest about five feet off of the ground. And I guess because smoke comes up and it'll go into the sensors and pick it up. Now, again, the sound sensor, it has to be a sustained volume decibel level to meet that threshold. It'll alert you on the, on the app. It'll text you and email you. Those are all settings you configure. You choose if you want one method, two methods, or all three. I suggest all three. It also has some pre-canned messages in case you wanna reach out to the guest right away to say, we've noticed smoking inside the home or we've noticed some loud uh, sounds going on inside the home. Um, again, the, the unit's gonna protect you and one of these is worth its weight in gold because as you know, if someone smokes in your home, you'll have to probably purchase an ozone unit for a couple hundred bucks no one could be inside the home while it's running and it has to run for a few hours and then probably multiple times. If it's a really bad smell or they smoked a lot, you may even have to paint to get the smell out. Oftentimes masking it with any type of perfume isn't really gonna work, okay? You really have to get the smell out. Oftentimes it's leaving the windows open, running fans, but the ozone really seems to be the best way to handle smoking. Um, this is gonna nip it in the bud right away. Another way, this is a VRB outstanding secret we go over in our course. Another way to ensure that people don't smoke inside your house is don't just make your home a no smoking home. 
your property is a no smoking property. So we tell our guests, this is a no smoking property, both the Oasis and Heart of Murata. No smoking outside, okay? That's the guest I want, the no smoker. I don't want cigarette butts on the floor outside. I don't want smoke outside making its way back in because as you know, they don't just have one or two cigarettes on vacation. They have a pack, they have multiple packs all week and that smell will eventually get in. It's on their clothes, it permeates the sheets and the next guest is going to smell it. So I tell all of my guests up front and I put it in my signed rental agreement, no smoking on the property. You have to step off of the property to smoke. It may seem hardcore, but it's our home and that's the way we want it, okay? And the non-smokers will appreciate that. And today there's so few smokers, I think it's okay to ask that. Now again, with going back to the, the sound and the party and decibel meter with the, uh, the wind sentry, uh, this is something where the sound is going to be the, uh, the proof, the objective proof to Airbnb and VRBO that there's a party going on, okay? Hopefully you've also got video from your cameras, but if your guest disabled the cameras outside, this is gonna do your audio and be able to go to Airbnb and say, there's a party going on, I need the guest removed, and it is up to you to remove a guest. Airbnb can reach out to the guest and tell them that it's canceled. It's your job to get Leo, law enforcement officers, to come to the property and remove them for trespassing because once a booking is canceled, and the booking has to be canceled, they are now trespassing. They are not allowed on the property. If the booking is not canceled, the police can't do anything about it because they booked the property. Just because they broke your house rule does not mean that they broke a law. Okay, so you have to know the order in which to do things. Now, another way to get guests out of your property, this is what we talk about in VRB Outstanding, is some of your boots on the ground, aside from your handyman, you should have somebody in the area who's a retired law enforcement officer. Why is that? Because they know how to handle a situation properly. You don't want the situation to escalate. They could damage your house, right? They can retaliate in many different ways. A retired Leo knows how to defuse the situation, okay? So hopefully you've got friends in the area. You could ask friends around. You could ask around and see if someone in the area is a retired law enforcement officer. You can reach out to them and say, hey, occasionally, maybe never, we may need your services. Would it be possible I hire you for such a service? And they're probably be more than thrilled to do it because they're retired and looking for some excitement, right? So if you ever have a party and you're not near your property, it is always best to get a retired law enforcement officer to handle this. Not your cleaning person, not your maintenance person, but get someone who knows the laws, how to defuse a situation and calmly talk people out so they don't walk out of the place destroying it, okay? I, I'm speaking from experience here. Now, Another thing you'll want to be aware of is uh, with smoking, you should have a zero tolerance policy. If you catch them smoking once, you need to remove them. If you put into your signed rental agreement that the wind sentry found them smoking and in your signed rental agreement, they saw if you smoke inside the property, you are removed without a refund, you need to stick to your policy and remove them, okay? You should also back it up by going there in person and smelling for yourself, okay? I would also bring your app and show them, hey, the app showed that you were smoking in the property and we need to have you be removed from the property. Um, again, this is why you get deposits, this is why you get signed rental agreements, and this is why you must be API, API integrated, I should say, with Airbnb, okay? This protects you, and it allows you to have good boundaries with your guests, okay? So hopefully you've got some good information for the Wind Century. I recommend going to their site, getting one to try out, test it out, and then if you need more for your house and you realize this is probably something you need to do because some of you know that you've got houses that are more prone to parties and smoking than others, this is a must have. What I will tell you from experience, my house that I had in South Carolina, this would have been probably worth its weight in gold. 
Uh, the houses we have in the Keys, it's a different clientele. Smoking is almost non-existent for uh, people who frequent the Keys. They're much more health conscious. Uh, no parties. So uh, this isn't as widely necessary. But again, we are still planning to use this in our homes. So I hope you give it a shot. Hope you like it. And again, just remember it plugs in via your AC power and your USB. And hopefully you've got an AC power outlet higher up because even though they do have these really neat uh, devices that stick to the wall to hide your, or not hide your cable, but let your cable run nice and evenly down your wall. It is a wire down your wall. That's the only thing I kind of don't like about it is the tape and the wire going down your wall. So if you've got some elevated outlets, I think this is a great choice to make and just put it in there neatly. And remember, it's got a 48 hour battery backup. You'll get the notifications for everything. It's better to be safe than sorry. And I hope you enjoyed this week's episode on the Wind Century. Now remember, hit the like and subscribe buttons below and we'll see you again next week.